Software is allowing architects to not only build better, but build cheaper and faster. Kit Johnson, an architect in Austin, Texas, is using this revolutionary software to rebuild, without tearing down, what had been called the eyesore of Enfield. 2007, a, a uh, condominium building began to be constructed on Enfield, a highly traveled road in Austin. They ran into some budget problems and construction stopped. Until recently, a building like this would have had to have been torn down. But new software called Building Information Modeling, like this one from Autodesk, is allowing architects like Johnson to rebuild what's already been built. We've been able to look at the existing structure any which way we want to, slice it, dice it, look at floor plan, section, elevation, and um, present to our clients, okay, this is the structure we want to keep and this is what has to go. Software like Autodesk's Revit is information rich with costs, dimensions embedded within it. Its virtualization can even detect problems and solve them virtually before anything is built. We're able to analyze not just what it's going to look like in all three dimensions, where we're going to have conflicts, whether our um, air conditioning ducts are going to be hitting plumbing pipes or going through concrete floors. Um, but we can also analyze how much it's going to cost. This kind of software is revolutionizing the entire field of architecture, saving time, buildings, and money. If we didn't have the BIM technology we have right now, we would either have to torn down all of this structure, or we would have had to take a huge leap of faith that we can make it work. Building projects, especially the big ones, typically allocate 20% of the budget for fixes after construction. On a $200 million project, that's $40 million set aside for mistakes, so a real lot of money. And I guess it's an incredible revolution, isn't it? All right. Thank you, Maddie.